Well, welcome to this short little intro. We're talking about a Dometic RTX 2000 air conditioner that I'm fitting to a six-wheel drive military Land Rover ambulance that we've converted to a camper. This is going to be multi-parts and it's going to be a little bit disconnected because it took me more than a week over the Christmas break. So, I hope you can cope with that. Let's carry on. Over the side she goes. Okay. Well, here we go. Okay, so we're up the top now, and I want to try and push these hoses back through that hole, if I can. I probably can't reach it. At the very least, I need to thread this back through the hole because we need to extract all of this stuff. And wow, this uh, spiral wrapping is uh, very old and fragile. Might spend a bit of time unthreading this, or I might just climb down and grab cutters. Well, later on, what we're going to do is drill out these rivets and it looks like this is sealed in so this could be a, a difficult removal process um, but yeah we'll be lifting this whole unit out and then uh, slotting in our replacement plate which only goes so far back there so I'm I may end up having to trim a little bit off that extra plate to make it fit but I won't find it out until there's a big gaping hole in here whether or not I can fit it and seal it up properly so uh, We'll probably have to uh, arrange appropriately to get it guillotined once that's in there. So um, this will be interesting. Okay. So those hoses aren't going to come out real easy, but that one is out of the way at least now. I've got access to the two hoses in there. I'm going to stick my hand in there and see if I can rip them out. All right. So trusty Leatherman to the rescue. But cut off. Now I should be able to extract at least this hose all right there's that one all right i need a breather so at this point we're dangerously close to being able to put that top hatch on that we've manufactured so i think at this point this is as far as i'm going to go because i'm expecting rain tonight so i might leave that there for now the next morning all right now i'm down to the bit that i'm dreading and i've already spotted a problem there's rivets under there that I can't get to and there's a couple on the front that I can't get to without shifting that roof box forward so I think probably the thing I need to start with is removing that uh, roof box or at least slide it forward somewhat there comes the tedious bit I'm gonna do this and half an inch at a time on both sides. All right, so I figure I'm just going to start by drilling some rivets up the top here. <coughs> that roof box without two people is going to be a bit of a pain to uh, get too far forward. So I'll drill the rivets and we'll see what we can do from the top. Alright, this is where stuff gets messy. I'm going to try and hit this, see if I can bust some rivets out. Although I can see the rivets from under here, I could theoretically clip them off from underneath. So I found a nifty trick. I can soften them up with this. I can and they just pop off some of the time. The other, some of the ones are so far gone, they just pry them off with a screwdriver. Ah, that's easy.
so the adhesive they've used is something else. So I've got the oscillating saw on the job and I'll cut it out. I've got the front half or the rear half done. I've got to work out how to get the front half out and then hopefully I can pry out the rest of it. and we're out all right we have a hole in the roof holy roof hole all right i might not naturally need to clean up the edges i think my roof plate will go straight over it <coughs> excuse me while i cough my guts up i think my roof plate might just go over the top of that and i'll stick it down Anyway, I've got to thread cables next. All right, now we've got some ventilation. I can turn this thing off. So what have we got going in here? We've got a huge hole in the roof. It's good, now we can see where all the pipes go. If I'm really lucky, I can strap a cable to that and drag it down with the other pipe. This little section can probably stay here. I'm really thinking that, or oh, depending on how well these are in here, I might better just leave them in and slap the other roof section over the top of this. I think that's probably what I'm going to be. I had to go inside and have a shower and uh, clear all the fiberglass dust off me too. It's nasty stuff that. <clears throat> all right, I think, huh, there's our other thing here. While I've got this open, good opportunity to have a piece of rubber stripping down there. To stop the water getting through. All right, one of the problems I've had for quite a while is the uh, rubber seal between the cab and the rear module has uh, been leaking water. And I've sealed it up as best I can. I think the best solution now is probably to take this rubber strip, jam it in the gap. Here we go here. Oh, it's nice having new blades. Looks like that'll drop in pretty nicely. All right, so got it all taped in there. I was going to tape this side up, but I figure I probably won't bother. Um, it'll probably be a little bit of water will flow back the other way. But that's not going to be anything like what comes down through this way. So, uh, you know what, maybe I might put some duct tape on there. I just thought about how difficult it will be if I have to uh, do it again another day. Alright, now we have air conditioner wire. And uh, over this side we've got the additional air conditioner wire. I'm not sure why our two sets of wires running off this thing, but there's no wiring diagram or any real detail to go with it. Okay, so hose has come out the bottom here. All right, now can we yank on a cable on a hose? That one's coming out. Ah, ah. <laughs> this is the right one. That came out. Oh, this one comes out too. So we the dirt on the camera. All right, there's our wire. Oh, I can't believe that worked so well. All right. Ah, oh. so a little wire didn't come down with it. It's got loose somewhere further up. No, there it is. There we go. There's our smaller wire. All right, so it's time to make a bit of an executive decision. I'm uh, looking at this gap here. Now I had lined up to trim the back off this so that I can push in further. But I'm looking at my overall measurements were designed by the old roof plate, which was actually meant really to sit on top. Now there is a little gap here. That's not actually gonna close up all that much if I trim the rear off. I can get it to about there, which is just fine by me. I'm thinking I'm gonna stick some butyl tape around the end of that stick it on and I will uh, do uh, silicon for the rest and uh, I'll screw it down. I think that's the way we're going to do it. butyl tape. 
push that right back as best I can. All right, so roof hatch is on. Butyl tape is mostly stuck with a small gap. You can access that from the inside. I'll put screws in. Now I'm gonna squish silicon in all the gaps. Hopefully, we can work all this in. Make sure it all gets in there very properly. That's what the rubber gloves are for. Sometimes silicon is just so much easier. Working with your hands. All right, so our roof hatch is in. It's painted and it's looking good and it's all sealed up with silicon. We've put screws through everything. I think it's gonna be all right. All right, now, we're not gonna drop the air conditioner in today, but we do need to uh, stop the water coming in. Now I'm gonna climb up the other side and do the rest. Two cables to come up here. Okay, now yeah, we need to fit them into the top somehow. All right, so I found a way to squeeze the other one up. We got these ones in. There's our wiring. Okay, let's uh... All righty, now my negative is on the negative rail, which is a lot better. And my positive will go on the positive rail um, when I get a fuse for it. In the meantime, all the worst bit of the wiring is done. The rest I've got to do on the air conditioner itself. In the morning, I had to change the plug over. And there we go. Anderson plug. Well, this is the end of another part. There are several. I hope this was an interesting one. If you look in the description, there will be a series of links and maybe a playlist that will take you to the other videos in this series. I hope it was fun. See you later.